Hello, welcome to the continued lecturing series by Professor Alexander Dugan, the head of the International Relations uh, uh, Department within the Sociology Faculty of Moscow State University. He's also the head of the Center for Conservative Studies. Uh, this is his lecture series presented in an open university format on ethnosociology. Uh, we're beginning the second part of the lecture series today uh, that will take a closer look, uh, closer look at ethnicity itself. And today's lecture focuses on the ethnostatic. Professor Dugan. Thank you very much. So now we are beginning to uh, study more closely what ethnos is. So uh, to start with, we should stress one point that we considered we consider the ethnos to be a social unit it is absolutely subjective in its uh, in its self definition and its identity is constructed uh, by members of the society uh, translated uh, through generation as uh, a kind of social construct. But the difference from other kind of society uh, or consists precisely in the organic and spontaneous way of appearance of ethnic identity. It is social, it is constructed in some way, but there is no, no, not, there is not subject that has constructed it. It is a kind of given identity or identity of natural identity. Because uh, we don't share the concepts or uh, conceptions of uh, evolutionaries, uh, the representatives of evolution uh, theory. So we don't affirm that this kind of society is developed from the animal horde or um, animal species. Uh, but it is a kind of society or simplest form of society that, that we are empirically, phenomenologically dealing with. So the ethnos is something given, but given not by nature or in the course of the development of the natural organic uh, animal entities or groups, but given as something uh, as fundamentally human, it is a kind of fact of human being and the form of society that is given as such. We could also follow the different uh, transformations of this simplest form of society, but we could not create ethnos. Ethnos is artificial, social, but not created, is given. It is something that uh, 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 stays at the source of the humanity. We know only one type of humanity, social organized humanity, not individual, not in the kind of family. All um, that about uh, one man uh, history of Adamic history or, or first family, it is a kind of story uh, or kind of conceptualization. The only one form of simplest kind of society is ethnic group, that is a kind of atom of society. So we call ethnos a simplest social uh, organization. Uh, we could also use 
um, a kind of neologism uh, on the basis of the Greek language. It is uh, koinema. The Greek word koinonia or koinon signifies the society or the community. Uh, community. In the Greek there is no difference between community and society. Something common, koinon, common. And uh, to have the, mm, uh, the least form of this koinonia, of this society, that could exist, could endure in the history, that could uh, pers uh, perseverate, uh, could be stable, could uh, um, conserve its identity, it's we, we are calling koinema, the simplest kind of koinonia, society. Uh, uh, this um, term is uh, made as analogy with term proposed by Claude Lévi-Strauss, mythema, mythema, Greek. Uh, there is a, a simplest element of the myth. So the myth is composed by the different groups and organization of Muthemat. So, uh, in our uh, understanding, in our course, we are dealing with the concept of koinema as the simplest form of society. And it is important to us to identify this koinema with ethnos. So, when society stay to be simplest or very simple it is a kind of koinema with different modification of it but there is a moment when the structure of society the simplest society is beginning to change fundamentally and from simple society we are going to the complex society in this uh, moment we are passing from the koinema to the koinonia, from the koinema or ethnos to the society of different kind. So, to study ethnos is the same as to study the koinema. And uh, in this sense, we could describe the structure of Koinama. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to deal with static model of the ethnos or static model of uh, Koinama. Uh, all uh, lectures dedicated to simplest form of society so the ethnos as such in its direct form and present representation uh, uh, is divided on, uh, on uh, is divided uh, in three parts. First part we could call ethno-static. Uh, the second one ethno-dynamic, and third one ethno-kinetic. And the first uh, approach. We are studying the ethnos as something um, unchangeable, at, at, uh, as something constant. Uh, and it is important to understand, to understand what ethnos is, because self-representation of the simplest society, of the kinema, uh, is uh, dealing always with the same identity. And this conservation of the same and the importance of the same and the value of the same defines uh, profoundly what Athens thinks to be. So it is not only what it is, uh, but what it thinks to be. It considers itself as something eternal. As something unchangeable and as something static. So it is 
not so. We, we know that there are many challenges. They provoke uh, answers from the ethnic group, but that corresponds to a second uh, part of the studies of the ethnic structures, uh, ethno-dynamic. So the situation where when uh, the ethnos responds to the challenges, trying to conserve its identity and the process of the transformation uh, imposed from outside or from inside. Uh, it is the uh, second that will be second part of uh, our lectures dedicated to this uh, ethnos, and the third part will be dedicated to the ethno kinetic uh, that describes generally this situation when the transformations of ethnos uh, become irreversible. So when the ethnos um, is in process of transformation, transformation in something other than itself. So we are, now we have uh, described the limits of our understanding of ethnos. Now we are dealing with ethnostatic. As I have said already, uh, for ethnic group, for ethnos, uh, the um, condition of the preservation of the same it is most important uh, concern. Most important concern because uh, the ethnos uh, is dealing with uh, eternity given as a uh, cycle, a cycle of eternal return. So these uh, constancy is uh, the this um, conservation of uh, the same structure is uh, the goal of ethnic existence and also normative attitude of the ethnos to itself. So, ethnos considers the world and the ethnos itself and something eternal and unchangeable. Uh, all changes uh, are inscribed in the permanent structure that repeats itself uh, always. So in the ethnic universe that could not be anything new. All that exists now existed always and will exist forever. So we are dealing with a special kind of temporality with ethnic kind of uh, temporality uh, where uh, ethnical universe is considered to be something uh, constant, something uh, eternal, something permanent. So uh, when we consider, consider the ethnic structure, uh, we should uh, uh, go beyond um, the common for modern man conception of uh, subject and object. Uh, we uh, should overcome uh, the dualism or duality between social and natural, uh, society and natural. In the simplest form of human society, there is no such division, no such differences. Difference. Uh, we are dealing with something that could be defined as um, living world, ethnic living world. The concept of living world was introduced by uh, Husserl, a uh, German um, found, uh, father of phenomenologic philosophy. Uh, and Husserl understood 
by uh, living world, the process of special human thinking that, that uh, are not um, underwent a critical rational analysis. So it is a kind of primitive or spontaneous thinking that uh, wasn't uh, revised uh, uh, by uh, uh, all, uh, all procedures of uh, uh, scientific rationality. So in uh, this uh, uh, living world, the thinking is organized um, differently from uh, the law of Aristotelian uh, logic or classic uh, rationality. So the um, difference between subject and object uh, and self-consciousness uh, uh, in the process of the thinking, all uh, this uh, cl clearly defined point and principle of rational thinking are um, forgotten or uh, unknown in this uh, level of living world. And uh, there are many uh, characteristics that uh, show that uh, in, the, in, the, in the level, in the dimension of uh, uh, living worlds, uh, the people could easily uh, take uh, the word, uh, word, word for the object that it uh, names or uh, make a confusion uh, between desirable, possible, real and so on. So that is a kind of intermediate relations between the thing where all reality uh, is personalized, all the issues or in the situation uh, are um, in, model, uh, in model state, so desirable, wishful, undesirable, fear, think, uh, are conceived not as a part of the subject, emotional or personal attitude to presumably objective reality, but as a kind of intermediate, intermediate interrelation of all the things. What is desirable exists. What is, what is fear um, doesn't exist. So, uh, or, uh, or it is created in the process of the fear. The feared object is created in the process of the fear. And uh, sometimes the fear could evoke or create, construct the object that inspires uh, this fear. So that is a kind of reversed logic. And to, uh, th that is uh, uh, sufficiently known in the uh, psychological field of studies and in philosophical uh, Field. It is uh, studied by uh, all different kind of phenomenologists. Phenomenologists, uh, the partisan of uh, phenomenological philosophy. Uh, so, if we um, discern uh, the, uh, these um, these um, kind of uh, living world form of thinking, we could easily uh, find it in the ethnos. So, uh, ethnos uh, is uh, based on this um, living world, uh, living world, Lebensweit, living, living world, uh, world attitude to the thing. So, the ethnos as such is this intermediate context. It is not society because there is, uh, there is not yet the subject. That is not natural 
or kind of, of, of some forms of uh, uh, s uh, states of the nature because there is no such concept as, as in nature as something completely mm, uh, 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 completely different from um, and separated from from the man the atmos is something that lays between the subject and object and this space of between this intermediate region is exactly how ethnos understands itself and the world so the world is ethnic and social and uh, the society is natural universal and all that is uh, expressed in the set of the symbol in the in the myths in the concepts of reality that coincide to the reality itself there is not representation of thing representation as subjective part and the thing uh, themselves as objective part uh, are the same in the ethnical way of thinking. We could call it ethnic thinking, thinking or uh, ethnic living world, Lebensweg. So uh, uh, Husserl also spoke about noetic procedures. So uh, the kind of noetic way of thinking that is different from dianetic, mm, dia noetic uh, forms of thinking. Dia noia, it is Greek word for rational uh, thinking based on the uh, laws of the logic. And Husserl defines noetic form of thinking as thinking without logical um, logical operation the thing spontaneous kind of, uh, way of of thinking or if you prefer pre-logic way of thinking so uh, we could uh, uh, so uh, the, the, the particularity of this noetic way of thinking is not um, not uh, try to find uh, the difference between the representation of uh, the thing and the thing itself at some evidence that exists uh, independently from uh, the, the person that perceives something. Ethnic way of thinking, ethnic, ethnic thinking is precisely noetic thinking and not dianoetic. So the uh, center of, of, the, of the process of this uh, noetic thinking um, is called in Greek noesis. Noesis dealing with noema. Noema is a kind of thought object that coincides with real object without any operation of uh, logical confrontation between the, uh, the, the, uh, the thought and the thing. So, noema it is a kind of special moment when the thought of the thing or representation of the thing and the thing itself coincide absolutely without possibility to make a difference between them. So it is this called noema. It it is not it is the salt, but that mm, the, 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 that kind of soul that is conceived by thinking person as something real, not as the soul. So. Uh, it is a specificity 
uh, of uh, ethnic no ethic process and the sense of uh, ethnic group or kinema is precisely uh, precisely this kind of no ethic thing so ethnos could be regarded as the structure of no ethic way of thinking because in this structure we are dealing with the process of noesis and with no emas. No emas as a soul that are sold to be things. And with the things that are sold to be sold. So it is a kind of reversibility. Reversibility between the nature and the society, between subject and the object and the possibility to reverse the relations between perceived and perceiving signifier and signified uh, lays in most important feature of the ethnos that the only reality that is it intermediate reality that create that creates object and subject of itself. So it is not symbolical representation of person of something that lays outside of of uh, uh, of it, but that is a kind of symbolic complex that gas first creating in the secondary secondarily secondary way both subject and object. So, the ethnos, it is not, in this sense, it is not subject, it is not object, it is not constru construction by uh, some uh, persons or uh, kind of reflection, it is not kind of reflection of the nature, it is something other. It is structure. In the philosophy and the mm, linguistic, it is called structure. So the ethnos is a structure. The structure we could not mm, seriously ask. Uh, structure was structured by whom or how it came to be. These questions are impossible in the field of ethno-sociology. So, the structure, it is something that is given, that something that is phenomenologically present. So, we are dealing with uh, structure, dealing with ethnos. And uh, uh, also, a phenomenological philosophy uh, introduces uh, a concept of intentionality. Intentionality as a process um, of noetic, of noetic thinking, because uh, 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 in the intentionality, the most important is not the fact or system of fact, but intention, intention of the subject that is not subjective. Uh, because uh, we could say that intention is not uh, uh, property of the subject, but subject could be regarded as the property of the intention. Intention, no ethic process, no ethics, uh, uh, living world, all these concepts concept, uh, help us to understand what ethnos means because because the ethnos uh, is something that uh, coincides with these terms with inter uh, intentionality with no asses with uh, Levens, uh, living world levens way and precisely it coincides with the structure the ethnos is a simplest 
kind of structure, social uh, structure. So, regarded as such, as a structure, uh, we immediately receive uh, the, the frame of what is ethnos. Ethnos is a um, symbolical system uh, that is arranged in the kind of taxonomy. So, organized, organized uh, symbolical system. So, all ontology of uh, the symbols in the ethnos uh, could not be reduced to the order of the representations of the, the reality. It is something completely other. The symbol exists before the symbolized thing or symbolizing human subject. The symbol possesses its own being. It's a kind of ontology of uh, the um, uh, symbolic mythological mentality. So, uh, exist all in the ethnic uh, group, uh, in the reality, exist only symbol. The symbol is the myth is and it is a kind of primordiality of, of being uh, uh, and uh, what is important uh, uh, on the, the, the on the following step is to define relation of some person human person or natural object to the symbol and not the opposite. So the idea is that symbol gives to the thing or the person meaning and being. So it is a kind of depository of being and meaning at the same time. And human person or some natural or technical, or economical, or, uh, or other uh, object also exist only in a way of participation to the symbol. So it is a very important difference from more complicated, more complex, more sophisticated kinds of society. In the Koinema, and the simplest structure of ethnos, the being and meaning, the, the being and the meaning, is all concentrated in the sets of the symbols, uh, taxonomically or arranged. And this is ethnos. So the ethnos is not human community. To be human or not to be human, the Depends, depends directly from relation to the set of the symbols and misses. To find identity is the same as to find identity in the structure, uh, symbolical structure. To have to have the being is the same as have meaning. To have being and meaning is the same uh, uh, as to have relation to the symbolical context. That could grant being and meaning. So, it is very important aspect. Ethnic life is symbolical life. Ethnic group is symbolical structure. That uh, symbol possesses its own and primordial ontology and is also the root of any kind of gnosiological processes in the society. Uh, if 
something uh, has no name or uh, has no relation to this symbolic uh, structure that is the essence, the, 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 uh, the center, the core of the ethnos, uh, this thing automatically or person don't exist, doesn't exist. That is very important, that um, to be is in the ethnic society is the same as to have relation to the symbolical set of values and the same as to have meaning in this complex or share something from this complex. So, all depends on the concrete ethnic taxonomy. This ethnic structure is all in uh, all in uh, ethnos. Uh, it is whole of ethnos. It is the koinema as a whole. So, uh, this holistic attitude um, also makes uh, this um, ethnic structure or the set of uh, ordered symbols uh, a kind of uh, of the figure, a kind of uh, um, of shape that uh, defines this or that ethnos, because there could be differences in the struct of these ethnic structures. And these differences, the differences in the um, taxonomic order of the symbols, uh, the difference of the name and the relations of, of the names and words and the concept in the context of this symbolical structure, all that uh, is the reason of differences between the ethnic groups. So, uh, uh, ethnic structures are more or less similar, but at the same time different. And this difference explains why one simpler society, ethnic society, and the other ethnic society are different. So, the different of proportions, the different of uh, of details in this structure, structure. Uh, the, uh, and also the difference of the names. Uh, the language uh, plays here a central role in this complex because the language is exactly the same as this ethnical structure because the symbols are the names, the symbols are the words and some line of the words. So, uh, ethnic structure is identical with the language spoken by this or that ethnic group. And here we are approaching we are approaching to the ontology, ontology of the language, because uh, here uh, the language is regarded as structure in the structural linguistic, as something that defines all the relation, uh, all the relations between the meaning, contextual meaning of the words, and. It is not by the chance that uh, we are speaking about structures and about its, uh, its identification with a language. In the ethnos, in the ethnic society, the language and the symbolical structure is strictly one and the same thing. And that is important that the structure of the language and uh, the, mm, the, the words as such possess uh, its autonomous ontology. What is 
ex what exists in the ethnic society uh, before all the rest. Before, before all the rest exists the language. So language as a kind of, uh, of ontological and semantic core of the ethnic structure. So, uh, this language is expressed in the myths as a first, um, first set of lexical, um, uh, lexical um, strings that form a kind of dimension of taxonomy, taxonomy taxonomic dimensions. And they could be regarded as the rules of the language. The uh, messes are the rules of the symbolic universe or the symbolic uh, symbolic structure of the ethnos that define uh, the dimension, the geometry of the ethnic structure and the laws, inner laws of uh, uh, inner proportion and the relations between different elements of uh, ethnic uh, ethnic structure. So the language is real. Being real, language is symbolical and magical. But not it is magical because uh, it could be used as instrument to conjure the reality, to impose on the reality uh, human will. This uh, pragmatic use of magic is a sign of degenerated kind of ethnic society. And the uh, normal, normal uh, case, uh, the magic is not an uh, instrument to use. It is precisely the fact that the being is in the world, in the words, in the signs, in the symbols. The reality, the ah, the reality are the words and not the things, and, uh, or not the people. So magic is most important that the magician or uh, the results of magical ceremony. It's difficult to modern man to understand this ontological status of magic in the ethnic society. But without that we could not understand nothing in the uh, different uh, archaic and primitive tribes and their uh, conceptions of, the, uh, of uh, themselves or of the reality. So, uh, magic gas first. So, the world is magic because it has the relation to the magic. The reality is the magic, first reality. The reality is the magical, symbolical relation of taxonomy that define the roles and position of all others as a kind of supplement to the magical, magical field. So, uh, the reality or nature or human society are a kind of uh, application of magical whole to the different human or natural uh, natural aspects uh, of uh, all that uh, that is outside of ethno structure. So the problem uh, to understand uh, ethno society, ethnic community or koinema is to understand that magic is in the center of it. So. Uh, only what is magic could exist. So magic is the same as ontology. And the power of the words and the science 
of the rites, rituals, and ceremonies lay precisely in the fact that appealing to the magic, appealing to the sacred, you uh, appeals to the reality, you enters in the reality in what is. And so in this real, not wishful, becomes concrete and factual, but you uh, enter in the real, uh, in the real path of the will. So in the magic you begin to want what is necessary, that, uh, that fits in the context of, of the reality. So you obtain the will desire from the magic and not use the magic to accomplish and realize your desires. So it is very important, this reversibility. We could not uh, understand concept of sacred, or something sacred, or something magic, uh, without uh, the, this uh, specific feature of ethnic group. So we have not here a rational person with uh, individual will that uh, wants to make some influence on the opposite um, in the, and independent from uh, him reality. It's completely otherwise. So when the person begins to think and to have a desire, the Thinking and desire and willing is formed inside of the magical field of the symbols, where it takes shape, orientation, content and form. So the magic for desires and the magic forms, rationality, or language and structure, ethnic structure, dictate what the people should strive for and how the people in the society should think. And this domination of the intermediate, of the language, of the magic, of the sacred, of the symbolical taxonomy is the basis all this ethnic, uh, ethnic uh, kind of the society. Now we are uh, going to the next um, uh, next uh, topic in this lecture. Uh, where now we are going to speak about uh, sacred space and the sacred time of the ethnos. The ethnos is dealing only with the sacred, as we have seen, so the space and the time are both sacred here. What that means concretely? That time is considered to be space, so the time is considered to be something synchronical. So this, this synchronicity is the basic feature of the time. So the time is placed in the space. So that is the reason for the ethnos of existing of the same seasons, of the repetition of the same moment of life, the birth, the marriage, the death, and the coming of new generations, as well as falling on the decline of the sun, 
and reappearing of the sun and the stars each day and each night and each season in each uh, uh, natural natural movement or phenomenon all that uh, that is in time is in the same time in a space so we could regard ethnic temporality as a kind of space or something situated in the space and that is the possibility to know the time to know the time or to master the temporal temporality is to know is the same as to know the misses of um, the, of uh, the past, the future, and the, the present, but all that also is the knowledge of the laws of the language, of the system of structures uh, and structure of uh, symbols and the names. To understand uh, the time is the same as understand the taxonomy of the ethnical structure. So, if you know the misses of the ethnos, if you are initiated in the knowledge of the ethnic structure, so you know all the time, you know what was, what is and what will be, because it will be absolutely the same as it was and as it is. So, in order to understand the whole of the time, uh, is necessary uh, to know only one thing the structure of eternal uh, of eternal set of uh, symbols so uh, at the same time uh, the space is sacred but in the other matter if the sacredness of the time in the ethnic society uh, is explained by its situation in the unchangeable, permanent uh, context, as in a picture, as in an icon, where uh, in the sacred icon, where uh, we see often this representation of time in the circle or in the uh, uh, ancient calendars or in the uh, Hindu mandalas uh, or, or Tibetan uh, man, uh, pictures, sacred pictures. Uh, so it is a kind of uh, representation of time as a special structure. When there is uh, the top, uh, the bottom, the right and left. So these specialized time serves to create first kind of maps because this absolute homology between time and space give, uh, gives possibility to create the map, the primordial map. Uh, that is the sign of signs or symbol of symbols. And to understand this, the symbol is the same as understand uh, the ethnal structure or understand a time. So this um, special, specialized, uh, the time that uh, becomes space, this form of ethnic uh, time uh, represents an ontological and magical map. And the person of the thing of natural world both exist as a part of this time. So they are temporary, they are in time because they have their place in this complex, because uh, their, uh, their um, ages of their our, our life, uh, the, their situation in the year or in the season, all that 
uh, are semantic, is semantically defined. So the spring, it, it is a concept. The autumn is the other concept. So uh, there are uh, winter or, or the summer also could be taxonomic entity that regrew uh, around them the other semantic figures in social structure they could be uh, winter social institutes or summer social institutes or uh, we could uh, represent spring as kind of member of society or goddess of the spring or god of the spring and to be treated as living social person uh, as member of the ethos so all these part of the sacred circle of, of, that is the same the map and the calendar uh, could be uh, could be understood as a social uh, phenomenon or natural because that is intermediate region where uh, these uh, sp time uh, at the same time space live uh, space also is uh, sacred but uh, on one hand it is sacred because, because it is not only space because it is also a time so it is transformable living space it's very important that in the living world of no ethic ethnic way of thinking that space is living reality uh, there is nothing put in the space the space is something that leaves that is full and this this uh, this uh, um, completeness as such is the space so the space uh, is pregnant it is always um, it, uh, it always giving birth to something so it is not sterile sterile uh, and uh, this concept of space also is ethnic space so ethnic group uh, does not does not know any space that, that is completely um, strange to the um, ethnos uh, ethnos, ethnos includes all the space in itself so uh, Russian uh, uh, ethnologist Lev Gumilev called it um, encompassing landscape landscape encompassing landscape that includes or including uh, landscape that includes all uh, the ethnos, all the space in the ethnos and places the concrete, concrete ethnos in the concrete space so landscape became not only the scene the scene on which ethnos is situated but is a part of ethnos it is uh, also that uh, that has it has cultural and social sense it is inscribed in ethnos so uh, uh, that is also important that time and space both represent ontological map that coincides with uh, coincides with uh, ethnical structure and the language so all that uh, this uh, uh, map of eternal return this living space this taxonomies and structures uh, of the 
symbolical values, all that also is merged in the language, because language also is the map, is the space, is the calendar, and is the, uh, the, the, the place where all is gathered. It is uh, interesting that uh, Greek word to gather, uh, it is lege, from which the term logos was created. Originally lege uh, had uh, a meaning of the gathering. So uh, we could say that in the language all other, the space, time, being and meaning, humanity and the nature, all that is gathered in the language. And the language is also the, the kind of ethnical logos that could be regarded as ethnical logos. Uh, Wilhelm Müllmann, a uh, German ethno-sociologist, has introduced the concept of ethno -central. That is something uh, different from the concept of Sumner, of ethnocentrism. Ethnocentrism uh, is the uh, idea that uh, every ethnic community represents itself in the center of the universe and uh, judges all uh, the other ethnic group as peripheral, as uh, being and staying on the periphery of the reality and uh, identifying itself with the center of the world. It is a kind of situation, of normal situation of any ethnic group that regards itself as something uh, normative and universal and all the other as something that should be judged by the measure that are normative in these ethics. So that is a kind of uh, proto-nationalism, a kind when uh, you understand as uh, normal, good, uh, universal, something that it is yours. So Sumner uh, has based on this concept, famous sociological concept of uh, we group and they group. So um, we group is judging the group by the measure of we group. So it is uh, universally accepted sociological attitude. Uh, so other is excluded and that is the sense of they group to be excluded. That is the, the sense of uh, ethnocentrism. But ethnocentrum, ethnocentrum in German, is a different concept that, uh, that uh, proposes to regard, regard the ethnos as a kind of uh, constant and permanent figure of figure that is the same as sacral, sacral, sacred time, as the same as sacred space, the same as the structure of the myths and symbols, and ethnos itself. So it is representation of ethnos in a kind of, of special figure uh, that rip, uh, that uh, defines all the possible senses and application of the same figure in different in different situation. It is a kind of uh, ethnic space or ethnic time or ethnic structure in one and the same figure. So ethno central. We we see here also ethnos in the central, but not ethnos in the central of universe that exists independently from it. No, all universe is 
included in this ethnocentral. The, in, the, in this ethnocentral uh, are present the sun, the moon, the stars, the skies, the gods, the demons, the, the inferno, uh, the hell, uh, all the paradise, all that, all the, the human, the animals, the savage animals, the domesticated, domesticated one. So, so all is present in the ethnocentral, and all that has a name is exists in the this ethnocentral. So we could regard it uh, symbolically. We could regard it uh, linguistically, we could regard it um, uh, socially or geographically. Uh, all that could uh, be included in the concept of ethnocentral. Central. Ethnocentral in German. Many um, studies concerning uh, archaic people that uh, could give uh, us uh, uh, multiple examples of this, uh, the structure of this ethnocentrum. For example, uh, Sharakagorov uh, and uh, Alexander Friedrich, two uh, ethnologists, uh, started the uh, Tungus society, a Siberian sub uh, tribe of very, uh, with very archaic structure. Uh, and they uh, studied their basic myths. One uh, of most important central myth of the Tungus is the concept of the world river. World river that gas through the world. The world, world river that is permanent, permanent uh, uh, X uh, of uh, permanent axis of, of, of the being of the universe. Uh, in the center part of this river is the world of living. Uh, it is intermediate world where the actual actually Tunguses live. So there are two other worlds. The world uh, of the dead at the mouth uh, of the river and uh, the uh, world of the embryos, uh, future souls, where future souls live. So, there is the perfect cycle, perfect circle. So, uh, the new souls uh, come in the intermediate world when they are living uh, living. Ручку держи снизу, просто ты закрываешь рукой, что показываешь. Mm -hmm. uh, in this in this picture we uh, could see uh, that um, new souls come in existence uh, with um, in the intermediate world of the living Tungus, and after the death, uh, the souls of the dead come to the world of the mouth of, of the uh, river and from this point they make a return to uh, to the source of of this river because the river is a kind of circle and Tungus's uh, thing that existing Today, the people existing, existing, existing today is the same people of the same soul that existed before and will exist in the future. So that is circulation of the same soul, soul passing by the same stages. The structure of the old soul and the new soul uh, um, uh, are different because there are two kinds of soul. So, the uh, living Tungus is, com uh, uh, is uh, compounded by different set of soul. There is new soul and the uh, old soul in it. And uh, mm, there is a kind of uh, distribution of 
the souls by their natural place where the shaman uh, plays very important role because there is a need to restore the new souls to the source of the uh, of the river world river and to put the old souls to the mouth uh, of, of the river where the great uh, ancient bear leaves the uh, great father of the Tungusis. So that is a very complicated uh, scheme, uh, but uh, uh, the most important here is the complete stability or static system of this uh, world river because all souls living new and old are it at their places and uh, the circulation of the souls and all the events of their life and uh, are included in this cool and everlasting circulation of the sea. So it is idea of that all um, is changing but all rest always the same. And as substitute to this concept of world river, there is the other symbol of Tunguses. It is uh, the symbol of the uh, world tree. It is not something other than world river. It is the same. The river is the tree. And uh, in this representation, uh, it is not the mouth of the river, but the roots of the world tree. There is, the, there are the branches of uh, the world tree uh, as a place where the future uh, souls are growing, and there is the intermediate region of the world tree where the living person are present in uh, intermediate stage. So if the river gives idea of uh, change, the tree gives idea of the stability. But all that is included at horizontal and vertical position of uh, this symbolism, both of them conveys convey the sense of the stability of uh, everlasting permanence of the structure of the life. Uh, in the life all regions of the world uh, also, uh, are, uh, are constant, are permanent and all um, transitions, all changes uh, inside of the structure, uh, they don't touch the essence of the structure. So the, the, all, all uh, changes could be regarded as oscillations in the context of the same of the same structure. And that is the reason why we could uh, we could uh, identify uh, the the river, the world river, to the world tree. So, uh, we could, uh, we could uh, make, now we could propose a kind of taxonomy uh, among different, uh, different uh, four or types of uh, ethnic societies or coinets. Uh, we could uh, could uh, define three main group that enter in the uh, uh, in the main frame of ethnic society. First, uh, simplest kind of ethnic society or simplest koinema 
uh, is represented by the society of the of the hunters, uh, hunters and gatherers. Uh, hunters are mostly uh, masculine and um, are men, and uh, gatherer are mostly uh, women in the archaic society. Uh, this society uh, is uh, um, could be regarded as most uh, pure, uh, a, a purest form of uh, koinema, because uh, the structure, mythological and symbolical and cultural and religious structure of these societies is very simple. But at the same time, they are um, enough, or complicated enough to convey all the richness of the human society in its uh, ethnic, uh, ethnic um, koinema, in its uh, ethnic root. So, this, um, uh, this form of uh, the society of gatherers uh, and hunters uh, is called also um, the society that uh, existed or exists before Neolithic Revolution. So, uh, Neolithic Revolution uh, is uh, beginning to cultivate the earth and uh, that, uh, that represents the second type of koinema of, uh, or uh, simplest society, uh, agrarian society uh, basing on the farmers, little farmers. It uh, is much more complicated society with important shifts from simplest structure of symbols Myths to more sophisticated organization of taxonomies. So um, it is also uh, um, agrarian society. Uh, it has many particular features uh, and uh, developed mythology. Um, more uh, more developed uh, social institutions, but we could nevertheless put them in the main context of simplest society or ethnic society, because in the pure form there is no hierarchy, uh, there is no um, uh, social stratification, uh, there is uh, holistic holistic world vision uh, inclusive uh, and uh, inclusivist understanding of landscape and ethno central it is a kind of uh, uh, village uh, as a model of the world village that is concretely situated in the sacred space. So, not the town uh, in, this, uh, uh, in this situation is uh, um, a, a symbol of, or imago mundi, image of the world, but the village. It is very important because the village is organic and simplest, simplest kind of representation of ethno structure, village. So the village also is, uh, um, is a kind of fixation of ethno structure in the sacred, sacred space. So uh, the village is, uh, or uh, as Redfield called it, uh, Redfield called it folk society. Folk society, village society, is the little uh, settlement uh, of peasantry, uh, of uh, peasants, uh, that form a kind of koinema with all the, um, uh, all the characteristic 
symbols and uh, signs of uh, simplest society with sacred time, with sacred space, with um, uh, messes and uh, uh, representation of, um, uh, of uh, all encompassing mythological uh, reality. Uh, that was uh, the, the Neolithic Revolution was studied by Russian Russian searcher, ethnologist uh, Vladimir Prop, who influenced um, very much structuralists in the West, um, among the other uh, Levi Strauss or Algirdas Greimas, two famous structuralists, uh, um, Western structuralists. So, uh, Prop studied uh, the passage from the myths uh, of the society of uh, gatherers and hunters to the um, agrarian societies with uh, shift and the semantic structure, structures of uh, ethnocentrum. The ethnocentrum uh, of gatherers and uh, of uh, hunters uh, is uh, dynamic, is placed in the forest or desert uh, and um, is nomad. Uh, but uh, the ethnocentrum of agrarian is fixed, is the permanently placed in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the space and there are many other different different aspects of uh, complex, uh, complexification of agrarian society. For example, there appear after Neolithic Revolution uh, a certain special space between the society and nature. If uh, when the gatherers and hunters uh, are dealing with the nature as such, so they uh, include the nature uh, with their best beasts, um, uh, the, the other the fruits that grow by themselves, uh, uh, includes in their uh, in their society, and project at the same time social relations directly on the nature that surround them. For example, that is the first and uh, uh, primordial type of initiation. Initiation uh, that consists in the fact of symbolical death of the hunter, uh, that uh, is, uh, 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 it is eaten, that is eaten by the uh, beast uh, in order to eat the beast. In order to eat, you should be eaten. In order to kill, you should be killed. In order to bring death to some creature, you should be, you should undergo uh, the death yourself. That is the law of, of the balance of the human and uh, uh, not human in uh, the um, society of the uh, of the hunters and gatherers in the pre-neolithic society, and that is most ancient level of myths and legends and fairy tales. Uh, and uh, agrarian society after the neolithic revolution uh, creates new space when you could. Um, uh, you could not only when you uh, where you are dealing not only with uh, the nature but you could reproduce the nature. For example, uh, you could um, plant uh, the plants, you and you could domesticate the animals and use them to eat them. So that is a, a intermediate. 
space that appears uh, here. Uh, so uh, putting uh, nature a little um, uh, uh, further uh, from the man. That is creation uh, one step to the co co complex societies, but also, nevertheless, all that is in the field of the ko uh, koinema and the simplest society. And the third kind of koinema is uh, pastoral uh, civilization that is developed from the uh, peasantry, uh, from the farmers, and uh, create its own kind of uh, cattlemen. Cattlemen that uh, uh, represent third kind of uh, uh, koinema with much more uh, complex social structures because dealing with big animals they um, begin to conceive how to deal with the society, uh, with the men as with the animals. So that was the idea of the pastor, pastoral origin of the state or the complex society when uh, some groups of uh, human um, begin to, to treat the other human as a cattle. So that is a step to, uh, to sophisticated, more sophisticated society in and a kind of end of ethno-static and the end of ethnos. So, uh, in the many um, books of uh, Richard Turnwald, of uh, many uh, ethnologists, we uh, have uh, examples of uh, these kinds of society, but for us uh, uh, the most important was to define uh, the main uh, the main frame of what is uh, ethnostatic and what is uh, ethnic structure.